what cross country and running means to me, I feel like it means, it means everything. Every year, blood, sweat and tears into this sport. Running has taught me how to push through when the going gets tough, how to be dedicated, how to be motivated. I give everything to running. Ryan McNeely grew up in the small town of Rutherford, New Jersey, just a few miles outside MetLife Stadium. Though less than three square miles, Ryan made the most of his early training. I probably think I've run around the perimeter of that town a total of 300 times. I really loved it because my friends always lived so close. Like if, Everything kind of felt like family. My first athletic experience was definitely with soccer. My mom emigrated here from Portugal. Soccer culture is really big over there. So I started playing from a really, really, really young age. And then you know, it kind of started to get boring. It started to lose the luster. I would start to go to practice and I wasn't really loving it. Like I dreaded going to practice every day. So then when I got to high school, I was like, you know what, let me transition into something else, something I might be a little bit better at. Then I thought football would be a great idea. Went to the first day of summer camp, saw all the 6'3", 240 defensive linemen. I'm like, all right, this is where it ends for me. I kind of reassessed my options, like, all right, what's the one sport left? And it was cross country, and I was like, all right, and I was pretty good at running and all the other sports I did, so might as well give it a shot. McNeely's cross country career didn't get off to an ideal start. After joining the team his freshman year, Ryan suffered injuries to both of his knees and was told by doctors he may never be able to run at the competitive level. And it's hard when you're, what, 14 years old, you know, you're finally starting to find passion for something else and someone tries to tell you you can't do it anymore. Went through physical therapy, went to doctors, tried to figure it all out. I was able to strengthen all the muscles and ligaments around my knees. I'm pretty dedicated to what I want to do, so I wasn't going to let doctors tell me I couldn't. I didn't have Coach Moon knocking at my door, trying to get me to be part of his team. I mean, to be quite frank, I didn't have any coaches knocking at my door. I'll tell you the way, I crossed the line my last race of cross country. I cried for, oh my god, it must have been 10 minutes. Because like, I thought that was it. Like My last cross country race ever was right there. But it didn't end there for Ryan. Despite not receiving interest from any Division I programs, he continued to reach out to schools. When it became clear he would be attending Seton Hall, he made the extra step in getting in touch with head coach John Moon by writing a handwritten letter expressing his interest in joining the program. I think I first met Ryan after um, he, had, he had written me a letter and he came, came in for a visit. Uh, I had free time, so I said, okay, I'll sit down and talk with him, what have you. And I was impressed. He was really interested to see, I think, that how much passion and dedication I have for the sport. A lot of time, us coaches, we always look for the uh, All-American, the All-State, All-Everything kid. But sometimes you get some athletes who are just determined. He's gotten to be one of my top athletes based on his determination. Running's hard. It's, it's hard to tell somebody to run seven days a week 10 plus miles a day and like, oh, that's how you'll be good. Like, it's hard to get somebody to do that, but I was willing to go through thick and thin to be a part of this team, run through walls. He is a success case. I mean, he's a kid that I overlooked and a lot of coaches overlook. And I can't say, no, I'm not gonna take the credit for it. I, the credit belongs with, with Ryan. He was determined. He's determined to go in that math class to get an A. He's determined to go in that English class to get an A. My dream job is to be a coach for cross country at either the high school or collegiate level. Ryan will be someday a good coach. He got that kind of a, uh, uh, that kind of feel for it, what have you, and also understanding. I give my whole heart to this sport, and I just love being the one that's being able to help kids achieve what they want to achieve. That compassion in Ryan is greatly influenced by a mentor of his. As a part of the Leadership Development Honors Program at the Stillman School of Business, Ryan created a special bond with director Michael Reuter. I met Ryan a couple of years ago. That first impression that I had of him was here's a man that's focused, uh, he's serious about life. And then when he told me he was a runner, I'm a runner also, there was an immediate connection. Being able to work with him and see what 
he had to offer and how his whole sole purpose of being there, he always tells us this, is that he is there to serve us and he wants to see us succeed. His passion in his life is to give. He's a quiet guy, but his focus on doing and being his best is always there. Being a kid looking for the future, like having somebody like that in your corner was something that really, really appealed to me. He's quiet, but that quietness has grown in depth. There's always a push that I will be, continue to be more than I ever dreamed I can be. He's just so, so selfless that it's, it was very inspiring to meet someone like that. He, he just has that passion for life. He goes after things, and that's why if I had a team, I'd want him on there. I'd want him running on there because he's going to beat them.